I've decided to get completely sober, <gasps> completely stop alcohol. Right now I have three major addictions that I'm trying to work on, but I had to really sit down and think about what is causing me the most damage to my life right now. And honestly, it's drinking. Let's take a look back at Cindy's last few months. Ted and Cindy are heading on a camping trip and shortly after she decides to get sober. Let's take a look at her days leading up to this to understand why. Hey guys, welcome to another vlog. It is Friday morning and Ted and I have been busy all morning packing, getting the car loaded up, getting the dogs ready because we are about to go to Mount Enterprise, Texas to the Born Free Motorcycle Show. And I am so excited. Ted has been to this before and uh, I've never been to a bike show before. It's my first time. In front of me, we are going down to a gas station somewhere. We gotta get ice for the cooler because we've got our meat in there. Oh, there, there we go. Two bags of ice for the cooler because we have like a giant cooler. It's Ted's. Uh, Ted's coming over here to help with the ice. Okay, here's our gigantic cooler. And, oh, it's got beer in it already. All right. All right, awesome. It's got beer and meat. That's what we're taking with us. Because where we're going, they do have like uh, food trucks and there's like a bar and different things there. But where we're going to be camping, it's pretty primitive from what I understand. So we try to be prepared as possible, bring lots of drinks and. I mean, as far as water or food or any drink, like, they would have all that there. Yeah, but yeah. Better to have our own. We have to spend as much money. Yeah, first like things first, y'all. I am getting a beer for Ted and a White Claw hard seltzer for me because I don't want to get shit-faced. I'm not drinking a bunch of hard liquor, but I am drinking these spiked sparkling waters that only have one gram of carb each. And we're just going to set it up right here. <laughs> right here in these pine needles. Here, you want a beer? Before you start that. Oh, yeah. Here you go. Porta potties over there. I'm gonna have to be going to use. But once it gets dark, I'll just piss in the woods. Yeah, there's some like the there. proper southern girl I am. Okay. We're taking a little bit of a breather, and we got our camp chairs here. We got our drinks. We're about to set up the grill and grill some burgers tonight. But uh, yeah, we're having a little break, little rest after that. So we are fucking idiots, y'all. We did not bring plates, paper towels, a spatula, or any utensils whatsoever. All we have are burgers, mustard, relish, and buns, and, buns and a grill. This is our setup over here. We've got buns on top of our dirty cooler because that's just how we roll. And for those of you who are gonna inevitably ask me if I'm still on the carnivore diet, Yes, technically, but also I'm eating a bun. I haven't eaten anything today, you guys, and I'm starving, so fuck it, I'm eating a bun. It seems each time she consumes alcohol or enters a new relationship, her diet drastically changes, which she later comes to regret. So far, nothing seems out of the ordinary during their camping trip, but you'll start to see a common occurrence with Cindy and Ted. I know y'all can barely see me, but Ted and I got on the bike after we ate our burgers and we're coming up to the, like the little bar area. We're gonna go check it out and see what's going on here. We're gonna go see if we can get a drink. There's people everywhere. This is awesome. I'm having a great time. We're inside the bar waiting in line to get a drink. It took forever, but we finally got a drink at the bar and now we're waiting on the bathroom. And they're very strong. Like, it's all liquid. Very strong. I'm only going to have one of these. <laughs> Jesus yeah. Christ. Be drunk after this. Yeah, this is, I should have just got a light beer, man. This is, I got a whiskey and diet, but Jesus, he poured half of this whiskey. Here, we're having a great time. And uh, we're probably just going to finish this drink and then head back to the tent because we want to be nice and fresh and bright for tomorrow because we're going to come do all the events. So join us for that. It's the morning after the night before and the pair have awoken. Cindy is in need of coffee, but Ted seems to have other ideas. Hey guys, welcome to another vlog. So it's Saturday morning and we just woke up and we woke up on the ground. We ended up sleeping on the hard ground. Yeah, I'm tired. I'm sorry. It's like eight o'clock in the morning. <laughs> I got woken up by bike engines, but we had a really good time last night. 
oh yeah, our, our neighbors cooked breakfast burritos and Ted ate two of them. They were like, come on, get some. Um, I didn't eat one. I'm not ready to eat yet. I need some coffee first. Ted's drinking early today. Miller Lite at 9 a.m. I already had one wild berry. Wild berry white claw. Yeah. <laughs> not me. I gotta have some coffee or something and first. And the neighbor saw me drinking and was like, oh, we better feed this guy. Yeah. <laughs> two breakfast burritos and two beers by 9 a.m. Ted knows how to do it right. This morning. Yeah, you, you're hungry? A little bit. We'll see, we'll see what we can find up here. They've got a Bloody Mary brunch in the red truck. Oh, do you want a Bloody Mary? Yeah, let's go get one. All right, we're going to get one. This place is really cool though. Bloody Mary has been obtained, you guys. So we're really starting on our Saturday. What's really awesome about this place is it's kind of like the Wild West out here. You're just free to do whatever the hell you want. As long as you stay on the grounds, you're fine, man. So yeah, we're starting it up early today. Uh, we're gonna sit down here and have our Bloody Mary and then move along. And update y'all, this Bloody Mary is delicious. Oh my God, it's so good. Mm. It's spicy. Just what I needed this morning. I'm just not even gonna worry about coffee. I'm going straight to the booze. Good, I like it. Yeah, it's just beautiful. I feel great today. Yeah. The Bloody Mary's probably helping. <laughs> I am starving. It's almost noon and I haven't eaten yet, so I'm about to try these. I'm drinking a fucking Coors Light. I don't know what's wrong with me. But anyway, that's my day. Coors Light and chicken cheese fries. We're just gonna sit here and chill. It's getting kind of hot out there in the in the heat. Here's our little campsite, our little grill, our little cooler, our bread on the ground. <laughs> and uh, yeah, we're just gonna sit here and chill, maybe drink a beer. Um, and then we're gonna go back at 2.30 to see this new metal, doom metal band, if I can talk correctly. I think it's gonna get wild out here tonight, Ted. It's like two o'clock in the afternoon now. That's what you get when you start drinking at 9 a.m. I don't know, we passed out. <laughs> we ate some chicken fries and then we passed out. We're waiting in line to get a drink now after just talking to this guy who had the most awesome bike I've ever seen. Yeah, I forgot his name already. His name was Oakley. Oakley, yeah. He had the most awesome bike I've ever seen and the most badass tattoos. I may have taken a picture of it, I don't fucking remember. Anyway, what are you gonna get to drink? I'm gonna try this Monster Beast Nasty Beast RT. Oh God. <laughs> Ted and I have been hanging out with this super cool couple. Cindy claimed they got up early to explore the venue, but so far there has been little shown at the bike show. Um, way younger than us, but Michael really cool. Maddie. Michael and Maddie. And uh, yeah, we've been having a great time uh, having drinks and listening to whatever the fuck music is playing. And we're about to go meet them up at the car and have some beers. So yay, make it fun. Yeah, I had like three hard iced teas, you guys. I don't know. Feeling good out here. I'm sweaty and hot, but it's fun. <laughs> Looking rough the next morning, Cindy updates us wanting coffee. Shortly, they pack up and head home on a very long drive. It makes you think, is her new boyfriend a bad influence? Let's look at weeks leading up to the camping trip. I haven't eaten all day and it's like almost seven o'clock, so I'm gonna eat. Lodane got a, what'd you get, blood orange? Yeah, it's, I think it's called Wiley's Blood Orange Wheat. I'm a, I'm a wheat beer girly. I like, a, I like an unfiltered wheat beer too. Like, mm -hmm. you know, I'll get dirty. Oh man, beer. I don't like beer at all. Blech. Now she claims she doesn't like beer, but spent two days straight drinking it with Ted. Was that to impress him or pure desperation? That's right, folks. No alcohol for me tonight. That was I told a long you. Explanation. Cindy prides herself in the fact she didn't drink last night. Let's see how the next few days go. Hey, this is some kind of opening band. I don't know. I'm going to get a drink and we're going to look around and find a place to stand. <laughs> Waiting on Chromeo to come out. Loaded. <laughs> the birds 
bartender does know our order at this point. The bartender does know our order. He's super cool. Is recording right now? Yes. Oh, no. Yes, I am. So, Lodan and I made it back to the hotel room. A little tipsy. The next morning, the girls check out and stop off for liquids due to a massive hangover. Shortly, they meet with Ted. I wonder how that'll play out. Lodane's still not feeling 100% yet. <laughs> he feels very meh. How you look doing, Lodane? Feeling better over there? Yeah, headache's gone. Good. The uh, desire to kill the majority of Dallas is waning. Oh my god. I'm just getting the spring water. What are you going for, Lodane? Uh, <laughs> to choose from. No, nothing sounds good. Yeah. Exciting cool. conclusion of what drink you chose. Well, I'm Maybe I'm not done. Maybe I'm gonna get a hair of the dog. Get me a, uh, yeah. give me a shot of whiskey. <laughs> I don't think they do that here, but you know. They do have some wine over there. Yeah. Uh, I know. Ugh. Wine would be the... Oh, it'd be the worst. I don't want the spins while we're on a road Oh, no, no, no. All right, y'all, we're out here. We're eating outside the hotel, and we got ourselves a couple of drinks to start it off with. Yeah, it tastes kind of weak here at Camp David. It does. Yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. I was making it strong in the room. Okay. Oh yeah, Ted well, started we without can't us. Taste it anymore, Ted. <laughs> yeah, you might have a problem. Last call. We're getting one more drink. They're closing it down at nine o'clock. We missed most of the show, unfortunately. Uh, <laughs> but we're gonna have one more drink and head back to the hotel. It's nine, and they're packing it up. Oh yeah, it's nine o'clock. They're closing down. Sunday. Yeah. We're waiting outside the bar for our shuttle, our hotel shuttle, to come pick us up. So it's like 9.30 and we're just trying to get back to the hotel and go hit up the hotel bar. Yeah, I think it's open till 10. We have oh, we're not going to make it if it closes at 10. Oh, we might find another. <laughs> We made it back to the hotel right at bar closing time, but the bartender is so cool here. She's going to let us have one drink before they close up. Oh, it's 12 after yeah. 10. But she's got people in there, so she's like, well, I'll make some more money. Yeah, she's going to give us one more drink. And we had a great time last night. The show was like so short and they closed the bar at like nine o'clock. It was crazy. Um, but we ended up going back to the hotel and we had the coolest freaking bartender who like basically stayed open for two hours past closing just for us she was awesome and uh yeah we just hung out at the hotel all night went to bed woke up about 45 minutes before we had to check out of the hotel room and made it out next ted and cindy head to chicago together so far the drinking has been pretty tame but it does seem to escalate a bit during this trip all I got was four ounces of brisket and they gave me this huge tray and then this guy gave me this like banana pudding to try Which is delicious by the way and then Ted got the brisket sandwich with slaw and they freaking hooked him up on the slaw And we are waiting on them to bring our drinks out. Oh, she's screaming Ted at him <laughs> Thank you So yeah, they served us a cocktail they gave us a jack and diet so this is what we're having for dinner. I'll tell you guys how it is after I try it. And I'm starting to feel a little bit better after my freaking hot flash I had when we came in here. I'm still a little sweaty, but everything is closed down. Like there's just a bunch of abandoned buildings. Nobody's out here, yeah. but uh, there's a hooter. So we're going in for a drink. Let's go. Yeah, I just sit at the bar. We're not gonna eat. I just ate like the best brisket I've ever had. Y'all, we just came into Hooters and they don't even have a bartender. They had to like seat us just to get a drink. It's weird. Here's what it looks like inside of the very dead Hooters <laughs> downtown St. Louis. Yeah, it is dead. Uh, even the waitress was like, man, I haven't made any money tonight. There's nobody down here. We're gonna get a, one drink here and then we're gonna go see the art. Yeah. So y'all, this is the weirdest city I've ever been to. We just left Hooters and we had one drink over there. The bar was closed. Yeah, on a Friday night at a Hooters in America. Very strange, like they didn't even have a bartender. The uh, waitress, she was so sweet, but she was like, man, nobody's here. It's like a ghost town. But now we are hitting up the bar and then we're gonna go explore in here. So here is the bar. Let's go get a drink, baby. We got uh, two Jack and Diet Cokes here from the bar and Ted went to the bathroom. So I'm just hanging out over here. Oh, is that another bar over there? Mm -hmm. 
Yeah, there's a bar on both sides. For some jousting time. Yeah, I'm ready for the tournament. Me too. And we just, we're having a drink from the bar. Yeah. <laughs> There's Ted. I still have my crown on. <laughs> and we're just standing around waiting to go in now. So we're here. It's pretty dark in here. And we're just waiting for our food and drinks to come. And we're waiting for the show. You ready, Ted? one 8 8 8 we jumped. <laughs> <laughs> Guys, my knight just gave me a rose. Or a carnation. Whatever the hell they give out. I got one. <laughs> Put it in my hair. Put it in my hair. Ted, tell, Ted is telling me to put it in my hair. I don't think it's gonna fit. I don't think it's gonna So far it seems they haven't gone a single day without drinking. Their last day is chaotic, but she says something tomorrow that is shocking. <laughs> He's putting it in there for me. Aww. Uber's gonna be here in like one minute and we are heading back. Um, we're done with Medieval Times. It was awesome. Y'all, we're back in the hotel room. Uh, we left Medieval Times. It took like 45 minutes to Uber back. <laughs> but look at this beautiful view of the city. You think of Medieval Times? <laughs> you look like a specter. <laughs> <laughs> Baby, I'm putting that in the vlog. What? What you just did. The worm? <laughs> yeah, the worm. <laughs> Get another shot. <laughs> Come here. No, no. <laughs> <laughs> Ted and Cindy head out for pizza on day three of their trip just a few hours before a concert. It seems last night didn't put Cindy off drinking. Our waitress just came to take our order and she told us that the deep dish pizzas take 45 minutes to cook. So we're gonna be here for a little while. We went ahead and ordered a drink from the bar. Yeah. Gonna get our day started. Yeah, so, all right, our drinks are here now, guys. So we're gonna enjoy this and wait for our pizza to come in 45 minutes. So we've been here about an hour and we're still waiting on our pizza and the waitress came over and told us that um, she's given us a free drink for the wait because they're behind in the kitchen. Um, so yeah, drink number two. Yeah. Oh no, I didn't expect this. It's crazy. We're like a mile away from the entrance at this point. Finally made it, guys. We're about to go through the metal detectors and get searched and all that. And then we will be in. We made it in, guys. Only uh, we got held up at security because I have a bottle of mints in my purse. And I guess they thought they were drugs or something. So, yeah, but they finally let me in. And uh, we're hitting the bar. That was like a stressful situation. All right, y'all, we made it in. We got drinks. We got merch. Um, we were able to get a t-shirt. We went to the bathroom. And now we're going to try to find our seat. And it is fucking packed in here. We got seated in pieces. Playing. The city at night. This was so cool. We had a great time. And believe it or not, guys, I'm fucking stone cold sober. Cindy claims to be sober, although she had at least three strong drinks. It appears it doesn't last long as the night after she ends up over doing it to make up for it. I only had two drinks earlier in the night, and like we're about to walk home or walk back to the hotel. Nobody's gonna believe that, are they? That I'm sober, yeah. I really am. It's the final night. After being sober, so she claims last night, tonight she and Ted go all out in downtown Chicago. Quite a few people out here for it being a Sunday night. Oh my God, you can get a drink on the street here. Oh, we're gonna get a drink at this little street bar, y'all. While we're waiting on our drink, here's a view of the street some more. It's pretty lively tonight. Our restaurant's down on the other end there somewhere. Pretty early, too. It it's is like pretty early. It's No, it's 8 o'clock. On a Monday night. 8 o'clock on a Monday night, yeah. Got my street drink, and now we're heading down to the restaurant. Wow. No oh, outside beverages permitted inside. We gotta chug this down before we can eat. So it looks like, guys, we're just checking this place out. It looks like the little cafe is up here in front. 
And then back here in this room, I see a bar and that's probably where they're gonna have the live band. Yeah, we'll I don't know if we'll stay for the band here, if we'll go somewhere else. What do you think, babe? We'll just decide after we eat? Yeah, we'll just walk around and see what we like. Yeah. And we went towards the sound of the guitars. We're about to go to where there's alcohol, low standards, and poor decisions. Yeah, we'll Let's go in. It sounded badass. Drinks to go? Nope, we're going in. Ted's already ahead of me. Here we go. And, and I just spent, I just spent 15 minutes talking to the lead singer and she was incredible and i'm gonna put the footage in right here for you guys oh, to no. see walked into a dive bar on beale street and saw the best fucking music we have ever seen no cover, no cover. it was completely free and uh, i just talked to the lady the lead singer for like 15 minutes and told her how awesome she was and she was like this wasn't even me on my best night we're lit we're lit we're lit <laughs> we're lit, we're lit. Yeah. Yeah. We're gonna go to the house. Where are you going? You're going to the club? Shout out to me. I stepped in. Shout out. Y'all know what's going on. Tell me. <laughs> All right, we're going to the club too. Let's go. <laughs> hey. Everybody's getting in on my YouTube video. Yeah. Hey. Hey. In a town. You're going to be on YouTube. Oh, <laughs> oh my God, y'all. Beale Street is awesome. I love it. And uh, we're going to go find somewhere else to hang out. Yes. Hey. Look at this beautiful lady. Oh my God. Look at you. I'm Steph Memphis. You are beautiful. And my name is Alexis. Oh my God, you gorgeous thing. Look at you. All right, we're gonna go find another place to go, guys. Beale Street is awesome. Okay, y'all, we found a bar that's open on Beale Street. The Absinthe Bar. The Absinthe Bar. That's the name of it. We got a drink. I don't know what's going on in they here. They got Absinthe, right? We can order it. They do have Absinthe, but I don't think it's the real shit. I don't, think it's, I don't think it's the Wormwood shit. They got a whole menu of it. The dude I was talking to, I asked him if he was going to give me some. I don't know what's going on here you guys but like we're just hanging out having another drink before we walk back home i don't even know where ted just went fuck where even is my man i don't know but i'm on beale street getting fucked up yeah so our new friends that we met suggested that we try the actual absence and we're we're trying it, man. We're, we're trying absence. Original recipe since 1805. Traditionally distilled. The highest fruit from the French. It tastes like licorice. Well, y'all, it's uh, the next morning. We stayed out really late last night on Beale Street and had a great time. We stayed out too late, probably drank too much, and now it's 11 o'clock and uh, we are headed back. We just checked out of the hotel. We are headed out of Memphis and back to Hot Springs and our trip is over. Cindy and Ted head to a cabin to celebrate Ted's birthday. After a few hours of swimming in the lake, they spend the night celebrating. Cindy ends up injured. All night without sleeping. <laughs> I've been having a couple shots, so I'm doing my best here. I'm about to take a shot of Jim Beam. We're gonna cook some salmon and eat some cake. And Ted's gonna have a fucking really happy 40th birthday. I wanna hear on my birthday. So yeah, I'm gonna have a happy birthday. <laughs> Fuck yeah, I got my workout in now. No, I just 
So, we've been listening to the cramps and doing a lot of dancing, and Cindy just fell down badly. <laughs> Look at, she spilled all the dog food, and like... Look at my knee! Look at her knee! Oh my god! I tripped over Morty! No! I, I fucked it up! It. Oh shit! You're supposed to put 1.6 ounces of lighter fluid, and I don't know how much that is. There Boy, you go. No, you're good. You're good. Move your hand away. Oh this my god, you don't one. need to light it this again. This is one of these lighters, though. <laughs> what are you doing? <laughs> taking in the Lord's energy. <laughs> you're taking in the Lord's energy. I'm sorry. <laughs> Centering myself to the earth. Okay, the, I can get behind that. Uh, you look sexy while you're doing it, so I'll give you that. <laughs> Whatever the fuck you're doing. Centering ourselves to the earth is all we're doing. We're taking breaths and we're we're flowing energy. That's it. <laughs> it's all. Let them go down. All right, we're gonna wait probably we'll another what? Heavily like... while waiting. All right, another ten or fifteen minutes, you think? Yeah, we're gonna drink diet coke heavily while we're waiting. Diet coke. That's, that's right. Yep. We're doing the Lord's work out here. Yep. Straight edge. Tomorrow's Sunday, we're going to church. <laughs> Cindy's a beautiful woman. Aw, baby. You think so? I know so. Aw. We're going to go eat these in a salad. Well, no, we're going to put the salad. We're going to put the salmon on. Season the salmon. It doesn't need to be, it's already oh, seasoned. Shit. Oh shit. Are you sure it is? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh my god. <laughs> Maybe we need a spoon or something, no, or a knife don't. or something. You get it out? Yeah, pound that bitch. <laughs> oh my god, it won't come out. Oh, it just squirted it out is. of the. Oh it's Jesus, enough. be careful. Here, let me get a knife. Wait, 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 wait. Oh my god, it's going all over the table. Hold on, oh, hold on. It's coming out. Oh my god. Missed it, it's coming out now. Yep. <laughs> A little gravity is all yeah, you need. Yeah, yeah, a little gravity. I know That's you're a fan funny. of it. Okay, yeah, that looks really good. Oh, it is good. Ted says oh. I have to eat a stuffed mushroom or he's not going to get the salmon. Is that right? That's right. All right, I'll eat one. They're, They're getting cold. Yeah. Um, so here's a stuffed mushroom stuffed with cream cheese and parsley and I don't know what else because I never read the label, but they're fucking delicious. Oh, they're good. They're good. Right <laughs> oh god, I think I inhaled it. Oh, oh my god, y'all. I took a bite of this and it went down the wrong way and made me choke, but it is freaking delicious. Mm -hmm. So we're eating mushrooms, the bacon ranch salad, and, and we're oh my god. Um, I think it's done. Oh, it all fell apart when I tried to flip it last time. <laughs> is that why it looks like that? Yeah. No, I think it's definitely done. Pretty sure it is. All right, y'all, it is time for Ted's birthday cake. If I can figure out how to light, how to use this lighter. Here's the zero. Here's the four. 40 years old. Happy birthday to you. Zero's oh, I gotta, going down. I gotta, the zero's <laughs> going down. I gotta, I gotta turn it towards you. Oh, okay. Ah, shit. There, it's going down. All right. Uh, okay. You, yeah, you gotta make a wish. Did you make it? Yeah, I'm gonna make it. Ready? Yeah, blow them out. All right, and I'll take them out and let's eat this fun cake. Yeah, you get to lick it. Now, don't smash your face into it. I know you're tempted. I want to. I know you do, but let's at least eat a piece first. Sure. We had a fun time. Okay. You fell down. And... I did fall down, yeah. And I fucked my knee up really bad. She's hurting. Yeah. She needs a knee brace and <laughs> maybe surgery. A piece do you Donations want? are welcome. <laughs> I don't know how I'm gonna get this out of here. Oh, you need a special. I do. Hold on, let me get one. I found this one. Ooh. Ooh, that's it's good. dirty. Oh, that's all right. Okay. We don't give a fuck. Well, it's coming out. That's a nice. big ass piece. Yeah. Oh wow, that's a huge. It's piece. huge. That's oh, that one. Mm-hmm. I want that one. Oh my god. Ooh. What have I done? Ooh. What have I done? <laughs> Oh my god, get it, get on there. Birthday. Yeah, it is happy. Aww. Okay, we're gonna eat cake and ice cream and probably call it a night, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Um, I appreciate each and every one of you, and I'll see you in the next vlog. Bye. I hope Cindy sticks to her word and is successful in her sobriety. Let's hope this is a wake-up call she needs. 
helpline numbers will be in the description. Thank you for watching, and I hope to see you again very soon.